Hello, my name is Michael Gerson, and first of all, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'm just going to use this time to quickly talk about hypnosis. First of all, it's a natural occurring state. Okay, we have two sides of our brain from a hypnotherapist's point of view: we have the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind is running all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, keeping us alive. It will keep our heart running, keep our lungs functioning, pancreas, all the other bodily functions that need to do to keep us alive is run by the subconscious mind but it also looks out for danger now the conscious mind is what we analyze data with make decisions with even clicking on this video to watch it was a function of the conscious mind to make that decision and sometimes it needs to rest otherwise we have days where we can't rest our conscious mind and we end up mentally exhausted by the end of the day other times such as you may be driving on the motorway and all of a sudden you realize you've travel five or six junctions and you have no recollection of doing so. That is a natural occurring hypnotic trance state where the conscious mind has decided it doesn't need to do anything. What you're doing is something that the subconscious mind can run. And so it switches off and you go into a nice hypnotic state. The conscious mind rests and the subconscious mind looks after you. Should somebody in front use the brakes or pull into your lane, then the conscious subconscious mind will quickly bring the conscious back to full awareness for it to make a decision and you suddenly become aware that you've travelled a, a long distance without any recollection. Uh, another uh, misconception about hypnosis is that it's for the weak. Nothing could be further from the truth. The ability to concentrate is key to getting into a nice, good, deep state of, hyp of hypnosis. Um, the deeper the hypnosis, the better it is for working with and of course that means the more concentration may initially be required to get you into hypnosis and then get you down into a nice deep state and also your subconscious mind like i say works 24 hours a day seven days a week looking after you so it's always going to be looking after you even while you're in hypnotic trance so what can i make you do that you don't want to do nothing simple as that absolutely nothing anything that is against your belief system or against your moral code and your subconscious will suddenly flag up that I am not to be trusted and bring you back to full awareness for your conscious mind to make decisions and get you out of there. Simple as that. You will be in control all the time because like I say, your subconscious mind won't allow me to do anything you don't want to do. With that said, what we have to do therefore is before each session is discuss how it's going to go. We'll discuss the last session, discuss maybe what we're going to do in this session and hopefully what that will do then is working together we can bring an end to whatever issue it is that brings you to my office. So if you've got any more questions about hypnosis please go to the frequently asked questions page or give me a ring or give me send me an email. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about hypnosis. It's not a problem. So wherever, remember, whatever change you want to make, you can make that change. It's up to you. It's your life. Take control. Thank you for watching.